thanks for staying tuned and subscribing to this channel. My name is Apostle Eric Bukhan and I am the senior pastor for the Elim International Worship Centre located at Bukhanemi. Today is another edition on the episode Relationship under the platform topic Singles and Married Counseling. If you remember, in our last episode, we discussed the good and the bad side of single. So today we are talking about relationship. Relationship. And we must understand that relation came out of relationship. Relationship was relation was derived from relationship. Family relationship. Now, our family relationships are the first place we learn about love and how to care for people. That 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 becomes so natural. I mean, you don't need any education to learn how to love and care for people. And all these things we learn them from the family relationship. It becomes the first point in 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 our upbringing. We are we are all coming from a home. We are trained by our parents, by our mothers. By, by, by our sisters, by our fathers, by our cousins, by our grandfathers, we grow up. And so as we come in contact with people from the family relationship, we learn how to love and how to care for other people also. People are connected to some form of kinship, whether it is through blood, marriage, or whatever it is, we are connected, we get connected. And the family relationship is there bring that connection. The fellowship is there to, to, to initiate that kind of connection, that kind of bond, and that kind of love and care we get and then we learn for we, we get for people. It is through the family relationship that we are able to learn all this. And so you must know that the family relationship is so natural. You don't need any education to know how to love somebody. We get them or we learn them or we know them through the family relationship number two is the friendship relationship friendship relationship and we all have friends we all have friends one way or the other we all have we all, we all have gotten friends maybe you travel somewhere and then you, somebody becomes your friend we all have friends and so the, the next one is the friendship relationship friends are people who are not related but we choose to interact with Friends are people that they are not our relation. They are not part of our family. They are not from anywhere near our family lineage. But they are people we choose to interact with. And so you, you can you can bear with me that the friend that you have, it is from your own willing that you choose to walk, you choose to talk to, you choose to eat with, you choose to die, you choose to move with love. It is from your own will. It is a decision you make that you want to move with somebody. You want, you want to have a friend as you, you, you have to be. They are people we trust. So your friend is somebody you trust, somebody you believe can, 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 can protect you, somebody you respect, somebody you, you, you respect, and that person becomes your friend, somebody you care about and you feel that we, we, we can confine in and want to spend some time with them. And these are our friends. I know you have a friend. I know you have a lot of friends. And you can, you can bear with a friendship. Time, dedication. And for dedication to work out, it brings out time. Time becomes a factor. To be able to see that relationship grows, you must make time for your friend. You spend time calling somebody. You want to know their whereabouts. You want to know what is happening to them. You want to know how they are doing. You want to know whether everything is going on well. It is time. You want to spend some time, travel all, all the way, all that way to go and see that best friend. Time is needed to build a strong friendship. If you don't have time for your friend, then that person cannot become your best friend. 
The moment you make time out for your friend, that person becomes your best friend. And so, hey, dedicate some time for your friend. Dedicate, I mean, spend some time with your friend. And hey, things will go on well. Good friendships are mutually respectful and supportive. To be able to see that somebody is your friend, there should be a mutual respect and support from each other. If you need help, you go to your friend. Your friend must be able to support you. There are times that the advice of your friend should be able to give you the needed boost and encouragement you need. A friend in need is a friend in need. And so, so we, we need to understand that friendship must come with respect and support. If you need a friend, if, if you need a, a, a support from your friend, and your friend does not give you the support or is unable to show you how and which way you can go that will help your life, then that friend cannot be your best friend. Friendships are important. They are there for support. They are there for respect. And we must go alongside with it. And I, I am sure that uh, 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 with, with this that we are learning, you also get to know and to understand that the person you are moving in or on as a friend has tendency to influence your life. And the next one we're talking about is the acquaintances friendship. Acquaintances relationship, sorry. Acquaintances relationship. And who, who, who is your acquaintances relationship? Now, there are people you may encounter regularly, but who are not friends or relatives. So somebody who is not your friend or who is not a relationship but you encounter regularly, it be becomes your acquaintances or an acquaintance, friendship or relationship. There are people that are not in your family. There are people that don't form part of your circles of best friends or friends or whatever you can call. But there are people that you meet occasionally. There are people you meet regularly. For instance, if you are going to work or you are at a workplace and you are, you are all from dif different uh, departments, before you go to your office, there is somebody you meet and you say, hi, hello, that person becomes your acquaintance, friendship or relationship. You don't spend some time. You don't, it is not somebody that you wish to talk to or somebody you get the time to be able to spend some time with. But occasionally, if you meet a person, oh, hello, how are you? How are things? And then you pass by. That person becomes, becomes an acquaintance relationship. But who are not friends or relatives? Example, they may be a neighbor who lives in your road. So for instance, you are going to work and there's a neighbor just along, along your road. And then you pass by, anytime you see the neighbor, you, you, you lift up your hand and you say, Hello, okay, I'm going and come, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, bye-bye. These are acquaintance relationships. They are not your friends. They are not your, your, your family relatives. But you meet along the way and then you wave each other and you say, Hi, hello. So, so if you if you see that person or going to work or a colleague or someone you have seen a few times at a social event but do not yet know where. So acquaintances are people we don't even know them well. We have not studied them. That's why they are not our friends. We meet them occasionally and then we parry. We say hi, hello, and then we go on to what we are going to do. It is important to be polite and respectful to acquaintances as having harmonious relationship with other people around you. So, this is so simple. We must show respect to our, to our acquaintances. We must respect them. We must greet them politely. We must speak to them well, nicely. And we, we can laugh a little bit with them because we don't have time to spend with acquaintances' relationships. We don't have that time. We don't have that time. They are not your friends. They are not your relatives. You just meet them on the way and then you say hi or hello and then you go away. But in doing this, you must show respect. You must do what? Show respect. There are many times that acquaintances relationship, it get break off because at times you feel that somebody will greet you or say hi to you and the demeanor and the manner in which you go about, you may not like. And so you will not even want to continue with that hi or hello again and so you must show respect to your acquaintances or that kind of relationship 
It's an important way of avoiding stress on conflict. Also, when you are dealing with an acquaintance relationship, you can also avoid stress and conflict. Because, let me explain here, because there are times that when people come together, a lot of issues happen, a lot of things happen, a lot of issues crop up, and, and then conflict begins to show out of relationship. But with the acquaintance relationship, because you don't spend time with that person, there are times that in this relationship, you avoid stress and conflict. Because you don't have time to talk, you don't have time to sit down, that person is not your friend, that person is not your, it's not your relative. And so the issue of conflict and stress here is minimal. It goes down. It doesn't occur. It doesn't really show us in other uh, 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 other types of the relationship that we have looked at, like the family, like the friendship relationship. These ones, they are with you every time. And so after conflict and then stress, we can experience them in all this. But with the acquaintances relationship, stress and conflict are minimal. They are on the lower side. Now in some cases, relationship that start as acquaintance can over time evolve into friendship. And this is a key. Okay. So as every day you are saying hello, hi, hello, ah, hi, a time will come, you may want to park your car and then begin to start talking. Oh, how are you? How is the family? I hope they are doing well. I hope work is fine. And so from, from that onwards, then friendship begins to develop. Friendship begins to develop. And Mama, you get life. So we, we said that um, in, in, in some instances, relationship that start as acquaintance, acquaintanceships can over time develop into friendship and it's simple and many of you there are people you, you met and you were not friends but it was hello hi hello hi and later you became you became friends so that is how um, it is the level of contact with an acquaintance is minimal it is minimal the contact is, is not that big it is small and uh, and that, that that is the way it is now the last one i want to share with you remember i told you there are four types of relationship and the last one I want to share with you is the romantic relationship. But hey, my time is up. I have to go. I have to go. And now I want to take note of this. That in, 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 our, in, our, in our next episode, I am going to share with you the romantic relationship. And it's our main topic. It's our main topic. I've shared with you four. I, 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 I'm supposed to share with you four. I've shared with you three. One. I said that we have the family relationship, we have the friendship relationship, and we have the acquaintance relationship. And the next one, which is the main one, is the romantic relationship coming up in our next episode. I want you to all that I want to do is that if, if you miss our last episode, I want you to go and search on married and counts, uh, married and then um, singles and um, platform on this platform, marriage and singles counseling on this platform. I want you to go and search and then watch and enjoy it. And then let's meet again on this on this same platform. And I'm, I'm going to share with you the romantic relationship. It's our main topic we're going to deal with. And so do this for me. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe. Share to friend. Tell somebody about it. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And let's watch. Let's share. Let's send our comments coming in. Get them in. I'll answer you. Like it. Tell somebody. Watch with somebody, and your life will be blessed. You'll not be the same. You'll not be the same. And so I have to go back. My name is Apostle Eric Okay. Stay tuned until I come your way again next time. Bye bye.